Hello and welcome to our video on the top 5 features of Flexi21. The first feature we will be looking at today is called Custom Cut Line Names and Colours. Historically in Flexi, you have had to use the name Cut Contour to determine the name of a cut path in a file. In Flexi21, you can set custom names for spot colours to be identified as cut paths. To do this, you need to select your cutter in Production Manager. From the drop down, select Default Job Properties. And then in the final tab, Cut, you have to select the Set Line Color option. Here, you can dictate the spot color name, for example, Through Cut. The cutter options that you would like associated with this colour by default, for example flex cut, and the colour for display for your own reference. When you import a print and cut job with this spot colour as the cut colour, You can send the job from Production Manager and it will determine the cut path as a contour cut path. This is how you can set custom spot colour names for your cut paths in Flexi21. At number four, we have cut along page boundaries. So if I import an image into Production Manager, and open it up. In the workflow tab of job properties, I can check this box called cut along page border. This is going to add a cut path around the outside of my image on the art box. Here, you can change the margin if you want a bit more distance between your image and the box, like so. When you send the job, It is going to then send a cut job of your art box to your cutting device. It's a very easy way to just uh, add a cut contour around an image that did not previously have one. It's just a one click solution to cut out all of your posters and images that do not already have a cut contour within the design itself. At number three, we have output channel preview. If I import a job that has uh, spot colours in, for example, white and varnish, this is a very handy tool to preview how they will print before sending my print job. When my job is in the queue, I double click on it to open up job properties. Firstly, I will go to the separation tab and I will check that my colours are printing correctly. If not, I will remap them. So under base will be white and finisher will be varnish. Now my colours are printing with the correct channels. I can go to the output channel preview tab and I can preview the output channels. This allows you to preview not only your process channels but also your spot colour channels. So for white, I can see my variable underbase, and for varnish, I can see the areas that will be varnished. This is a very handy little tool to preview how your colours will output before they output. Note, this will also work with any colours that you set within the actual driver settings themselves. So if I open up this cityscape here, and in my driver settings and in my spot settings, I want to print a variable under base, like so. If I come to my output channel preview, I can preview my variable under base 
that has been added via the driver settings. So it is also very handy if you're using the driver settings to dictate your white and varnish channels. At number two, we have jig layout templates. This is an extremely handy tool for anyone who is printing with jigs on UV printers. In default job properties, I see this new option in Flexi 21 that says define jig layout. Here, click on define jig layout and I have a whole interface where I can create and save presets of different size and shape jigs. Firstly, you want to select your media size and then you want to enter the size of your jig slots in width and in height, like so. At the bottom here, you can enter the spacing between each jig slot vertically and horizontally. And there we are, we have our basic jig layout. In addition, you can add margins on each side of your media and margins on the inside of each jig slot to dictate where your image will actually print. In addition, at the bottom, there is an alignment feature, which is very handy. This will determine if your image is too small for the jig slot, how it will be aligned within the jig. For example, we have the center selected. Once we are happy with our jig layout, we can save it and press OK and then press OK again and select the apply jig layout button at the bottom. Now, if I add a job to my queue and I open it up, we will see that it has applied my image now within the size of my jig. I can just simply add multiple copies like so, and it will keep populating my jig slots with my images. This is how you can easily create a jig preset for your UV printing machine. It's also worth noting in the Define Jig Layout tab, it's possible to have multiple different jigs defined. So if you're printing with more than one jig, you can define them all here and you can easily switch between them when you're printing jobs with a jig. The number one new feature in Flexi 21 is variable data. Here, we will quickly demonstrate how to make a variable data template in Flexi 21. The first thing is to enable the variable data toolbar in Flexi by right clicking on the toolbars and checking the variable data toolbar. Here, we have an Excel spreadsheet from our customer as well as a template for business cards. We want to select all of our placeholder text here and click the convert to variable data button. Here I am lengthening the fields so there is room for the text to grow should the city website or other information be longer than the current placeholder word. Once they are all converted, I will select my objects and go to the rip and print window. Here, we see a new tab has appeared for variable data. These objects will be checked by default, the preview and the apply variable data. It's important you keep those checked so you can see your data file before printing it. Now, because we use the same keywords for our placeholder as are in the top row of our spreadsheet, 
we will keep the keywords on first row button checked. I simply have to load my data file, export it as CSV or tab delimited text document, and it will apply my variable data from the spreadsheet like so. And if I go to page preview, I can preview each of the business cards one at a time. Please note this tool can also be used for variable barcodes, QR codes and images even, but this will be covered in a separate video.